developer was rejected by 58 publishers, then they self-published, and with that they end up making 750k. The game is called Do No Harm, it's an interesting Lovecraftian doctor simulator. Definitely a very niche game. The developer wanted help with marketing, so as soon as they could they tried contacting publishers. They did it basically as soon as they had a demo. And they talked to quite a bunch of publishers, so they had 11 in-person meetings. They had 6 where the publishers actually reached out to them, and they had 41 where they just did basically cold outreach. Out of all of those 58 applications, a bunch of them were pretty much no answer, didn't say yes or no, nothing. Then 16 just flat out said no, 5 of them tried to negotiate, 2 of them end up with no offer, 3 of them end up with offers, but offers that were pretty low. The developer was looking for 180,000, but the only offers they were getting were between 30 and 90,000. So basically after all the offers fell through, they published it themselves. And the end result is the game got 600 reviews in 5 months, which led to over $750,000. So thankfully in this case, even though they were rejected, it turns out in the end everything went well. Considering how, of course, they kept most of that 750k as opposed to having to split it with the publisher. By the way, I wrote about this in my Game Dev Report newsletter. Go to cmonkey.co slash Game Dev Report. It is a free newsletter that I publish every week with interesting news and Game Dev articles.